It is a Monday morning, it is a new week. I was laying in bed journaling last night and thinking about how I want the new week to go, what my intentions are, having a little scroll on Pinterest. And I feel like setting intentions for the week and like planning the week out is something that I usually like to do, but I feel like since being in London and being in a city and there being like such a plethora of things that I could do, I'm trying to be more, um, yeah, intentional with with seeking new things to do and because I love to have my routine and having my little spots that I go to but at the same time I want to make sure that I'm still like expanding myself and going out to see new places and do new things but at the same time still have my routines and still have just have like a nice balance with things I guess and so I wrote a little list in my journal and did a little like mind map I love a mind map like a little when you write something in the center and there's heaps of lines like going off to the sides and I just love brainstorming like that. So I wrote this week and then I have all of these lines going off to the sides of things that I want to do this week. And some of these things are very, very basic things, but I feel like sometimes it's nice to just make a point of doing even just the basic things because sometimes the basic things really aren't that basic. Like getting eight hours of sleep, my sleep lately has been just not not great i keep going to bed really late and then waking up early and i feel like it's just been continually like that and i just want to put a stop to that and get a good night's sleep i love a new week or like any opportunity it doesn't have to even have to be a new week but like at any time in our lives we can like reset restart recalibrate like reassess if the way that we're doing things is aligned with like where we want to be going or like our goals or like how we want to be living um, and I think it's nice to just take a moment to step back and look at things and be like, oh, what what do I want to change? What do I want to do more of? What do I want to do less of? Instead of just like keeping on, keeping on. I feel like it's really important to have those moments of like pause, reassess, reevaluate, shift and change. And you can always like step into something new or like take a new path or that nothing's ever fixed. and. Yeah, I feel like setting the intentions at the start of the week is always a great reminder of that to myself. It makes a really clear point in my mind of like, oh, these are things that I want to do. And when when I've got it written down and I've really thought about it, um, I'm so much more likely to do those things rather than just saying to myself, yeah, I'll do that one day. Like, I'm going to do it this week. How about that? So, yeah, we are going to have a lovely week together and be intentional about what I'm doing and yeah just do all these things that I've got on my list and now I'm gonna go to a cafe I have a bunch of emails that I need to respond to so I'm gonna I think just go to the cafe and sit down I was like having an internal battle in my mind this morning of like do I go to a cafe and sit down and do work or do I go to the park and this is a problem with like setting your own schedule is I find myself trapped in indecision a lot of the time and like what do I want to do right now and I'm like what do I feel like doing so I think I'm gonna do both and go to a cafe and do emails and then go to the park and do work on my laptop. Let's go. It is 32 degrees today. So this is my outfit. y amigos ahora está es tiempo para mi clase de español hoy estamos aprendiendo sobre la comida sí 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 todo bien estoy no practicar español para un mes y quiero uh, mis españoles muy mal ahora. Necesito practicar mucho, mucho más. Uh, mi clase es en dos minutos y estoy no preparar mucho. Vale, vale, vale. Ah, mi clase es en pasar. Necesito voy al baño. I'm taking Spanish classes at the moment thanks to Lingoda who have partnered with me for this video 
Lingoda is an online language learning school and they offer 24 7 classes in English, French, German, Spanish, and Italian. They have different learning paths available, which all are tailored to different learning goals, but for me, I've been taking classes on their Lingoda Flex program. And on Lingoda Flex, you can book classes whenever suits you and you have full control over how quickly and how intensely you move through their curriculum. Hola, me llamo Cameron y soy Inglaterra, pero um, yo vivo en Australia, pero mucho de mi, uh, mi vida. Y, pero ahora estoy en Londres y vi, vivo uh, between, entre Londres y Australia. Uh, soy un ar arquitecta y uh -huh. um, ahora estoy muy interes, interes, uh, interesante, uh -huh. interesada sí, en edificios naturaleza. I've been taking classes with Lingoda on their Flex program for the past four months and whilst I struggle with taking classes super super consistently, whenever I do take a class I get such a boost of confidence from the supportive learning environment which is really motivating and encourages me to keep learning. I've honestly been able to improve my Spanish so much through learning with Lingoda for the past few months and I'm really excited to keep going and maybe spend some time living in a Spanish speaking country one day. If you also have language learning dreams and goals and you want to try out Lingoda's supportive learning platform, you can use my code Cameron20, which will get you 20 euros or the equivalent off of your sign up. And it will also get you up to 20 free private classes when you sign up for Lingoda Flex. And my link in the description will automatically apply the discount for you. I've been spending the day working for the past couple of hours and I actually feel like I've had a productive day and I'm feeling quite accomplished and sticking with my intention of like doing whatever I'm doing and just like doing that thing and not getting distracted. I feel like something that's helping is like not cramming too much into my days. I feel like usually I put so much in my to-do list and I'm like we're going to do this and this and this and then I just get like kind of overwhelmed by everything but today I said let's put two tasks on the list. And if we do one, we've done 50%. If we do two, we've done 100%. And I did two. So, it's been a productive day. It's now five o'clock. This is also something I'm trying to get better at, like not working into the night and like having more of a boundary with things and being like, you know what, it's five o'clock. I can go to the park. I can live my life. I'm a free woman. Um, ta -da! <laughs> I want to go to the park and take my dinner to the park because I did this last week and it was a real moment and today's a really hot day so I'm gonna make a pasta and I'm gonna take it to the park and have a little vibe, take my book, read, maybe sketch, listen to some music. So let's make pasta. <laughs> Reminded me of the shot in um in Willow's music video. What song is it from? Where's my phone? Also, how good was Willow's new album? I feel like it was really good and unexpected. It just kind of like came out of nowhere. I want to write my friend a letter because I was just laying down here and it really reminded me of um a time we shared together. So I want to write her a letter. It's beautiful. It's beautiful when you come outside. 
I'm just watching this, these three birds like fly just above the sun. Absolutely incredible. I feel like every day you know that you're on earth and we exist in nature, we are nature. And like you know it on like a conscious level. But then sometimes I feel like I get this feeling and I'm like, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> like we live on earth and like... I'm like trying to talk quietly because there's people walking past and I feel like I sound crazy. Um, my God, I can't deal with people walking past me right now. Now the couple's arguing and she's walking off. There's too much going on. My mind is being pulled in like 20 different directions and I'm like, which path do I follow? Um, yeah, sometimes I'm like, wow, we live on earth and we are in nature and everything's beautiful and I want to run around and I'm like guys like don't you see it? <laughs> but I would be insane if I did that so I'm not going to but it resides in my mind I'm like what like this it's like we live here every day and the sky is here every day and the sun shines every day and the trees do you not see the trees and they're talking to one another literally I sound insane that's what's going on in my mind Oh yeah, peace, love, and happiness. I'm gonna write this letter and lay the fuck down. trying to reintroduce like my nighttime rituals and routines and getting to bed and giving myself time to read or journal just like space for my mind to settle in the evening because I've just been on my screen a lot the past few days at night and I would like to not do that this week I'm gonna journal now and when I journal in the evenings I usually like to kind of plan the next morning so that when I wake up I know what I'm doing and I have like a clear clear um otherwise I can get very like ah what am I doing again especially if I'm like trying to do new things and not do the same thing every day I feel like I need to think about it in the evening this road is honestly so loud and there's a bus that goes past that was very dramatic I feel like it's not usually that loud um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. I'm home, I've gotten ready, I've showered, I'm feeling fresh and I'm making porridge for breakfast. I went to the refill shop and got some bits to put on top of my porridge. I got some peanut butter 
and I got some dates and I got some what else did I get cacao nibs those refill shops some of them are reasonably priced and some of them I feel like you go in and you buy like two things and you're like what how did I just pay that much money that's what happened to me this morning and you know when you, you you feel like you get ripped off but like you're not actually getting ripped off you're just paying obscene prices and then you walk out and you're like what the fuck like can I and when you're at the counter I feel like it's too late like I saw 14 pounds on the thing and I was like 14 pounds for coffee dates peanut butter and cacao nibs something's not adding up but the guy in there is really friendly and nice as well so I was like whatever anyway I'm making my porridge with my expensive toppings this morning as a little treat for myself if it's if I pay too much money for something I'm like it's a treat whatever and I went and picked some apples this morning as well I've had a really nice morning it's midday and I'm trying to get better at doing my morning things and starting work earlier in the day today it hasn't happened but there's always tomorrow and also I'm really noticing how important those moments of just like, like this morning laying in the park and reading, doing those little things and having those like moments of spaciousness, I'm calling them. And I feel like sometimes you don't notice it whilst you're in the moment. Say like if you have a week and you go and read your book in the park once, if you do it just once, I feel like it doesn't hit that much. But then if, if you do it a few times, I feel like slowly these like small moments of like spaciousness build up and create this really beautiful space within. And I really notice that when I have those little moments to myself often. And so I'm happy that I'm sticking with my intention of having more of those moments this week. Um, but now the day should begin and I should start to do some work. <laughs> and I also used to invalidate myself needing those moments a lot. I'd be like, oh, Cameron, you're always like, you're living in like a dreamland. You're not in reality. You need to like get to work. and so toxic it's like capitalist mentality that is ingrained within from just living and existing in this world and it takes a lot of unlearning to be able to get to a place where you can just do what what you feel like and what suits you and not have this voice that's like gaslighting you and invalidating you um and it feels nice to be in a place now where i feel like i'm like 90 percent there of like i just do what suits me and i know that whatever feels good is what it is for me like it's different for everybody and there's no one size fits all there's no right or wrong it's just like figuring out what works for you and I feel like I've gotten to a pretty good place with knowing what works for me so I put apple on top and some chopped dates some walnuts peanut butter cacao nibs in the middle a sprinkle of nutmeg and a drizzle of honey It's classy, and now let's go to the jazz bar. I'm so excited to listen to some live music and just like sit there and enter my own little world. Every time I listen to live music, especially jazz, I feel like I get so in my feels and end up in my notes app writing a poem. So let's see how tonight goes. <laughs>
good morning i'm having a cup of coffee i just had breakfast sitting here journaling and thinking about the day um and thinking about last night as well i was having so many thoughts whilst i was listening to the show i journaled one two three four pages of just like random scattered not coherent thoughts <laughs> that maybe i will go back through and piece together and make something of but i was thinking a lot about like flow state and creativity and how because when you're watching live music and you're really seeing someone getting like completely immersed in their craft and like they get transported to another world like you know when people are closing their eyes and just like really going in on whatever they're doing i feel like like when you're witnessing somebody in the flow state it puts you kind of into the flow state more i think and i was just sitting there in my zone writing and writing and thinking and I also met this girl who sat next to me from Melbourne and she was on her gap year and she was so so sweet and just taking herself on a solo date, she was 19. I was like, you are like, you've got a great start to your 20s. She was just living her best life, traveling, getting out and about and it was so so nice to just like meet somebody and chat, listen to music. I had the best time. It's gonna be a good day. Um, the sun is shining. I have wonderful residual energy in me from watching the jazz last night. I'm gonna see my friend today. All is well with me right now. Freshness of dill and then pan fried. Serve with rice noodles. Fresh I noodles. Like and the noodles. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm gonna get a, a noodle salad. Chazamia. Perfect. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. Nice. Nice. Yummy. soon and I'm just feeling like like this I want to walk down to the park this morning take my coffee sit read and start the work day at the park do my emails at the park and just be outside I feel I'm really feeling this urge to like be in nature at the moment like every part of my body just wants to go camping so the part of me that wants to go camping is taking me to the park this is my housemate's cup and it's very cute.
for a video or just ideas bouncing around in my head in general. I like to either watch interviews or listen back to podcast episodes I like or go back through books that I've read and see what I've annotated and underlined and just sort of like go back through this inventory of ideas and thoughts and collate things together. Sometimes I'll do this when I have like a clear direction that I want to head down and a, a strong idea but also I feel like it's nice to just do this to get inspiration and to draw things from different places as well. I've definitely been trying to let go of the idea that there is one sort of right way of doing work lately and just trying to create a workflow that suits me and suits whatever task it is that I'm working on but this was such a nice cozy note to end the week on and I felt really proud of myself and really like satisfied and fulfilled at doing things that I intended to do so it was a successful week I think and I'm looking forward to having more weeks like this and I think this week really showed me how I can really do things if I put my mind to it and if there's a clear intention it's so much easier for things to unfold in the way that you want them to so yeah here is to being more intentional more clear more purposeful with our days and our weeks and our months and our years and our lives um but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Goodbye.